Hello, Jim again. Um, last video I did on the embroidery, we looked at doing the design for the Silhouette Soldier and today what we're going to do is actually um, stitch it out, do a, do a sampler of it. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video, if you do please give it a thumbs up and um, it would be much appreciated if you could subscribe as well. So on with the video. Right, first job we've got to do is actually get the um, silhouette design actually over to the embroidery machine. Um, you can do this directly, you can link the PC up to the um, embroidery machine, but I haven't got the leads for doing that. And I find this just as easy. So what we do, we use um, a little USB dongle, um, memory stick, whatever you want to call them. Um, put that into the machine. in that side because my cable stretch quite tall there we go just wait for that to register while that's doing that we'll load up the design and we can see it there so we'll load that up apologize if you hear any of the birds in the background um, I've got two parrots and a, a magpie. Um, long story with a magpie. Anyhow, um, they're in this room as well, so you'll occasionally hear them squawk and talk and do things. So I apologise for that. Let's, uh, so to move it over to the USB stick, we're going to go on to that send. Send to USB media and send to F, which is the uh, drive it's registered under. that's done so we can remove the uh, the USB stick well, you don't actually have to do this once it's finished you just have to give it time to finish but I do like to uh, eject it properly um, just stops it any corruption And there we go, so we can now remove that. Okay, let me introduce you to my embroidery machine. Um, it's a brother embroidery machine. It's the uh, PR650. If I can read that on the front, let's see if you can read that on the front. Yeah, PR650. It's a six, six needle machine. Um, so you can load up six, six individual colors up the back there, you see. Um, and you have six needles okay to load the design we've got a nice touch screen here just touch that we plug the USB um, dongle in around the side here and get it in the right way around just give it a few seconds to uh, load itself up and then what we do is we touch the USB design thing there And now we've got to search for our design. And there we are, we see them there. So we touch that. And that loads it up. Okay, once we've got the design on there, we push the set button. And that's got our design up and we can move it around. Um, We've got these different buttons here that we can move it around. Um, we can reduce the size. 
Um, we can do lots of different things with that. But we're going to end edit. Um, we've, it's telling me to change to a larger embroidery frame. Right, I'll try and get you down here so you can see what I'm showing you. Um, this this carrier, um, it's that's the carrier for the hoop. You'll see me put the hoop in there in a moment. But because of that message, what we've got to do is actually put this out on its fullest extent. Um, so we undo those screws and we slide th this over as far as it will go and we tighten these screws up again and there's sensors actually on the machine that sense the size of the, the uh, hoop you're using um, they are temperamental and can be a really pain in the butt so that's ready um, so as you can see the machine is now all set to go um, and what we've got to do now is actually get the uh, the hoop set up and sorted out so uh, that's what we'll do and we'll show you doing that okay so this is the hoop um, hopefully you can see this um, it's a 300 by 200 hoop and what we're going to do is get some material so I've got this uh, this material here that I use for doing the samples and um, trying a new pattern out. So, excuse the bird, sitting there making stupid noises. We get the material, we lay it out and what we want to do is put the frame on top of it and we want around about three quarters to an inch over the size of the frame. So we put that like so. We get our scissors, and it doesn't have to be very perfect, as I say, this is a sample. Um, and we just cut around. Okay, okay so that's our, our actual bit of material. And now what we need is some backing material um, to stabilise it. So we use this backing material and if we lay that down and lay that on top of it we can cut around that lay it onto the frame you can do it two ways you can put it lay it on that way upside down or we can lay it on that way up the right way um, whatever works with this one I'm going to lay it on top, on top of there like so I'm going to get the inside of the frame and we're going to push it in Now we've got these two screws here. This is for tightening the uh, the frame up and securing it nice and tight. Before I do that, I just want to pull out the uh, inside here. Just give the material a bit of a pull to try and get some of those creases out. Because the flatter you've got it, the better it is, really. Now we're going 
load that up onto the machine. Okay, we're back at the machine. Um, right, we need to load the hoop now into the machine. So what we're going to do, slide that under there. Let's try and keep the material folded out of the way so that we can see what we're doing. And we slide it underneath those clips and secure it onto the pegs. Move you around here. So we can see the screen again. Touch the screen and bring it out of screen saver mode. We unlock the machine. And then we have to press this green button here that's flashing to start the process. And there we go, the machine's starting. Okay, we moved the position of the uh, camera so you can actually watch it. Yeah. You can hear it's quite noisy, so I will mute the sound. Um, and I will speak it up so you can watch the whole thing there. For the moment, it's just tying it all together. Okay, that's the design finished. Let's take it off the machine and we'll have a look. So there we go, that's the finished design. That doesn't look bad at all, does it? There's a, there's a few little bits, a few little areas that need a little bit of tweaking, but on the whole, that's pretty good. Okay, so that was the second um, one of the videos in the embroidery series. Uh, First off, we had the design of the Silhouette Soldier, and this video just shows you the, uh, the actual stitching out of the Silhouette Soldier. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, let me know, and I'll, I can show you some more designs and show you some other things that we're doing with the Silhouettes and um, with the embroidery machine. Uh, it is a bit noisy, and I'm obviously mess, still messing about with the settings and everything, and the cameras, and everything so um, they'll only get better these videos so uh, please give it a like and uh, subscribe if you can um, by all means share it wherever you want all right i'll catch you next time